I stand here today on the steps of the Jefferson County Courthouse in Charlestown, West Virginia. This is a setting that lays claim to so much history in Jefferson County. It was in these mountains that John Brown and his sons attempted a slave rebellion for freedom. And steps away from here, he was tried and hung. During the Civil War, the people of this valley seceded from Virginia to stay in the to stay in the Union and honor the fight for freedom. It's at this courthouse that we took that black down. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Freedom is in this land. We breathe freedom. We drink it from our aquifers. And our freedom is not for sale in Jefferson County. There is no price. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I'm a nurse, a neighbor, a friend. I'm a West Virginian. I'm a minor's granddaughter second generation American and my maternal roots reach back to the Revolutionary War. I own this history in these hills. It was passed on to me like it was to you. From thousands of years of indigenous peoples to generations of ancestors who endowed it to us. We are obligated. This history, this land, it's ours. And it's come time for us to fight for it. All right. I was born and raised in the Mid-Ohio Valley, Chemical Valley. As a competitive swimmer, I spent nearly all of my developmental years in water. I have no leg or hip because it was taken from cancer. This is no secret. This is what happened. Heavy industry makes people sick. That's right. And here we are in Jefferson County. We're one of the last holdouts in West Virginia. We have an administration who loosens environmental regulations and Rock Wool, a Danish insulation company, comes running. The people of Jefferson County, by every measure, have clearly rejected Rock Wool. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We have said no to heavy industry, and we don't just want it here. We don't want this kind of facility anywhere. Anyway. In the 21st century, building a factory that's building nine or that's burning 90 tons of coal a day, bag houses, injecting water into our aquifers, coal ash. No, 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 no. We say no over and over again. We reaffirm our innate freedoms in this land. We honor history here and we're great for, grateful for its forebearers. We claim our freedom here in Jefferson County, and we say no to Rockville. In October, I will embark upon a journey on my one leg and my forearm crutches. I will step forward in the American tradition of walking for justice. I will walk across Denmark. Ooh, yeah. Yay. I will walk, I will walk the Zeeland Island coast to coast, Kalmborg to Copenhagen, 70 miles in opposition to Rockwell. Yeah. I will use my body as a teaching tool for the 
Danish people in government. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. I will speak my truth and witness to the Danish public the violations being committed and, and is the world's leader in environmental and, and innovation and responsibility. I believe that it is not their intention to export pollution to achieve their climate goals. To the people of Denmark, I say, I come to you in honor and respect. And I ask for your ear, my, for your willingness to hear my cries. I ask for your environmental leadership and discernment. I look forward to the day that we meet. And to the people of Jefferson County, I say, I will carry you with me. Step by step, I will fight for you. I will advocate for you. I will push through my discomforts for you because you're worth it. Jefferson County, you are a treasure. Every single inch of you is worth preserving and protecting, and I will do everything that I can to do that. And that is
Branson, which is the area that will be the most affected by Rockwell's toxic emissions. And I come here today to say to friends and neighbors, we are all well aware of the natural beauty and the rich history of this land. We know it. directly or immediately impacted um, or affected by, by this fight. I want you to consider something. Our future depends on the actions that we take today. Corporate polluters like Rockwell are behind the wheel. They're driving us all towards irreversible damage to our planet. That's right. To the lives of our children, to the lives of our children's children. This isn't just an issue affecting West Virginia and the surrounding region. This is ultimately a threat to climate change. We are going to Denmark right? <laughs> to let the Danish people know that, they, that we will not accept heavy industry here. And I just want to thank you, Tracy, for bearing this burden.